All right, here we have some beautiful stamps. Look at this. Very nice. And these are Spanish American Union issued postage stamps. I believe from the 1930s. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the architect of that. And just think of all the work that it went into making the plate for the stamp. Unreal. It's beautiful. All right, let me show you all that we have in this collection. Okay, starting with this one right here. This is a one. See, it says Pro Union. And we have a two. Notice on top it says Pro Union. And then the beautiful four that we showed you at the very beginning. Just beautiful. Okay, and we have a ten right here. Isn't that beautiful? All right, now look at this one. One. Look at the pillars on that. Look at all the design that's in there. Sometimes you have to look beyond just, you know, that it's a one cent thing. And look at all the design that's around. Look at the lions on the top. It says 1930 right on it. Beautiful. And look at the excellence of the stamp, unused stamp to top it off. Beautiful condition. Nice. And then here we have a five. You can see it says Pro Union. And right beside it here, we have a ten. A little bit of that top is showing, but as you can see, it's in perfect condition. Here we have a 15 in blue. Look at that. Pro Union. These are quite a collection, you know, to have some of these Pro Union ones. I'm almost thinking that it got printed that way, having the purple blotches all over it like that. And that might be something that's going to make this one a more valuable stamp. And you can see it kind of done that. Well, that's kind of the way the tree is. But you got two other spots, and then look how clear it is in the afterwards. Like it took some of the ink and it just spilled over in the printing. So if you know of collectors and everything, go ahead and send this to them and let them decide. It's definitely the ink kind of spilled over. Took some of the ink from the rest of the portrait, the rest of the stamp. So that might be a rather interesting one. Okay, next to the next row here. Oh wow, look at that. That's pretty. Okay, it's a 25 cent. A little bit hard to see. Red is different, kind of blends all right in. And here we have another 25. Maybe if I back it up, they look better. Yeah, 
And here we have a 50. Ah, using some more of that purple, but this one's perfect. Okay, then we have a 40. Blues always come out pretty, don't they? Okay, and we have a few more down here. Twenty cent. Nice. A fifty cents. And here a forty cents. Wow, look at this one. It's a lot there to really look at, huh? Maybe this one be the more interesting one. It really defines the fact that it's 1930 and that it's pro-union. So this may be the perfect one out of this group. Alright, I hope you've enjoyed my bringing these to you. Be sure to sub me, join me as a friend, and we'll bring you some more good old and rare postage stamps from around the world. Share it with others who are stamp collectors or experts. <laughs> all the great philatelists. Let them all have it. <laughs> all right. Bye-bye.